Hi, so welcome to our channel 10 minutes code and today we are going to solve the 14th problem of our lead code which is a easy level problem and the topic name is longest common prefix so here what we are going to do we are we will be given an array with the name strs which means strings so there will be array of multiple strings suppose this is a flower flow and flight so the thing what which we, which we have to do here we have to find the longest common prefix which is available in all the strings in the array so if there is a string with no longer com common prefix then we are going to return an empty string this is how it's going to work so if we see the first example there is fl fl and fl which are common in all and they are prefix prefix means it should come first okay not in the between or the last okay so it's a prefix yes it's a common yes and it's the longest so fl will be the answer here flo flo are there in both the string but it's not in the third string so it so the answer will be fl so we have to return the fl here in the second thing we can see second uh, example we can see that there is a dog race car so we can see that first string is not equal to this okay so we have to only check for suffix so we will return an empty string so what we can do how we can do is we can just uh, sort the list so example let me show you we will just copy this array in Excel draw so the first step what we will do is we are going to sort this array okay so after sorting what will happen is the all uh, all the same words will come here for example if there is one more word here let me add this suppose this is uh, let me add this in between suppose this is a random word and this is a string as an input okay and if i sort this list so we can so this word after sorting will come here okay because z comes after f so now after sorting we have to check only the first and the last string in the array so we are going to check if the prefix are same so we can return the longest subscription so here they are not so this is not a longest common this this so we here we have to return empty string so put this is an array and we are going to sort this so it's going to sort like this so f l uh, a b c d f c o o so o will come first and i will come later okay sorry i will come first in the alphabet so after sorting this will become like this okay so flight will come first and uh, flow will come second and now we are going to compare the first and the last element and the if we compare the first and the last element you can see the fl are same so we are going to return the fl also. and we are going to iterate we are going to check which of this is smaller and we are going to iterate that much time okay so but we can do it by code so we are going to first create a variable called result and here we are going to pass an empty string which we are going to return first of all we will update it so first we are going to sort with the sort function so we are going to pass here strs dot begin this will be two parameters strs dot begin and the second parameter will be strs dot and so this will sort the list now the next step we are going to create a two string str1 which will store the first and the last element of the sorted array okay so strs of 0 which will be the first element and string of str of 2 will be strs of strs dot size minus 1 so this will be the last element of an sorted array now we are going to run a for loop so we are going to write a for loop for int i is equal to 0 and it will run till minimum of we are going to check the both the size and we are going to run the minimum okay minimum of both of them so we are going to use a minimum function and we are going to pass first str1 dot size and str2 dot size 
so which will be minimum will be run and then we are going to write i plus plus fine now in the for loop we are going to check if str of one of i is equal to is not uh, is is not equal to str of two of i then we are going to directly return our answer which will be result okay or else we are going to increment result by str one of i you can also take a str of two of i which will be the same so here we are going to append as result with str of one of i and at the end after for loop we are going to finally return the result let's run this the test case has been passed let's submit the so that's all for more lead code problems machine learning and web development you can follow us at 10 minutes code thank you